Hello. This is my first Android development tutorial. This is going to be the simple Hello World tutorial. Uh, this tutorial assumes that you've already installed Eclipse, the Android Software Development Kit plugin for Eclipse, as well as the Dalvik virtual machine and emulators necessary to test and debug Android programs. So we're going to develop our first program. We're going to just do the simple Hello World one. Go to File, New, Android Project, and we go type in our tutorial name, Tutorial 1. We're going to use Android 2.2 because that's about a year old. It's a lot better than 2.1, uh, and it's pretty widely disseminated at this point. We're going to call the application Tutorial 1. Package name has to be unique. tutorial one and we'll use tutorial one for the create activity and the minimum software development kit version will also be eight and then we hit finish so now you can see we have over here in our package explorer we've got tutorial one and if we right click and choose run as Android application and we open up our Motorola Droid emulator, we can see, wow, the emulator's got the program running. That's a pretty big emulator. I think I'm gonna have to make this smaller for any future video so you can see more of the screen at one go. But in any case, there it is. And let's go back and cover a little bit more of what's in tutorial one. Here is the structure of the uh, project. It's got the source, the one class file, it's our Java file, that's got tutorial one. It's got two imports, those are necessary. Um, if at any time you need to update your imports in Eclipse, you can just hit Control, uh, Shift, O, and it should update all your, uh, to, uh, your imports. And you can see the main class is class tutorial one, it extends activity, every app on a droid or an Android uh, operating machine is uh, an extension of some form of activity. And you see down here there is the manifest file. It's an XML file and it's got some basic information about the activity. It's the uh, base of the XML tree is the manifest object. And then you have the uses SDK uh, version 8. You've got application icon uh, we use the default icon. We can override, override that. We have a string. That's the label for the application. We have the name, label, once again, and then the intent filter. We'll cover that later. Um, but this is basically what launches when you click on the uh, icon. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the gen folder contains the generated Java files. Don't ever really mess with those. Um, the assets uh, are things that we would uh, such as databases and other things that we would include in more complex programs. Uh, the resources are things like images, um, strings, our layout. The uh, layout is what controls what actually appears on the screen. Um, it's a best practice to use uh, XML defined layouts as opposed to defining your layouts in code. Uh, and that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Uh, this was also just a sample to see if I can get Cam Studio uh, to record this properly without making it look too awful. And hopefully that worked. So I'm going to be uploading this and then we'll get into some real tutorials. Thank you.